Well, Mr. Speaker, today the University of Lethbridge did what this PC government refuses to. Tell us how the Premier's cuts to post-secondary education will hurt Southern Alberta students and their families. For instance, the University plans to increase their student fees by $200 per student per year, a shocking 250 percent increase, which more than offsets this Premier's bait-and-switch tuition freeze. So to the Premier, why won't she admit that the tuition freeze means nothing and that Albertan students will pay the price for this Premier's broken promises one way or the other. Honourable Minister. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, the Minister has made it quite clear that the tuition will be frozen, and the, Premier, or the Minister has also made it uh, clear that, uh, that just the fact that uh, universities or other colleges will not be able to just increase their fees on the back of students. Honourable Member. Well, Mr. Speaker, they just did today. Given that the University of Lethbridge also announced today that they will have 34 fewer professors next year, increasing class size while cutting quality and choice, and given that this comes right after both the Premier and her Minister of Incredible Claims stated that the loss of $147 million could not possibly hurt our education system, will the Minister admit that Albertans can be forgiven for concluding that neither the Premier nor the Minister can be counted on as reliable sources of information when it comes to the real impact of her broken promises. Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Both our Premier and our Minister have been very clear of the importance of post-secondary education in this province and to all our students. And both our Premier and our Minister said is that post-secondary uh, de decreases in the budget will not be on the back of our students, and we will continue to offer first-class education in this province. Well, Mr. Speaker, given that today the U of L announced they face a $20 million deficit by 2015, that's 20 percent of their budget, and given that they've said computer labs will close, libraries will stop buying new books, faculty research funds will disappear and access will suffer, why won't the Minister finally come clean and admit what everybody else already knows? The Premier's broken promises mean only a more expensive, less accessible and lower quality post-secondary education for all Albertans. Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Our Minister has met with all the 26 presidents from the different institutions. And I know that they're working very closely to look at some of the issues that are facing them and looking at implementing the uh, strategies and the implementation of Campus Alberta. And again, Mr. Speaker, those will not be done on the backs of the students in this province.